So step two is what do you need to do to size the air compressor? And what we're looking for here is flow and pressure. Your flow is going to be rated typically in North America in CFM, cubic feet per minute. That's the volume of air that we need to deliver to our application. We also look at pressure, which is rated in PSI or pounds per square inch. That's how much force do we need that air, the volume of air, to apply to the pneumatic hammer or whatever else we're doing with the air. So you might be asking, okay, that's great. I need my CFM and my pressure, but where do I find that information? Typically for air tools, there's plenty of charts and information out there for your specific tool and exactly how much air it will use at a given pressure. The same thing goes with a lot of manufacturing packaging equipment, air diaphragm pumps, anything you're going to use, there's going to be a certain rating for that piece of equipment on how much compressed air that you need to use. Now once you have your flow and your pressure requirement, then we have to equate that to horsepower. So for any given horsepower, which is what you're going to actually size the air compressor at, you need to know the flow and pressure in total, so basically your worst case scenario, and then size the horsepower from there. We'd always encourage you to call us to help with your sizing application, but if you want a rule of thumb, for a reciprocating air compressor, you typically get about four and a half CFM per brake horsepower, and for a rotary screw, you get just a little bit less, it's about four CFM per horsepower. So I, if I have an air diaphragm pump that requires 40 cubic feet per minute at 100 PSI, I'm going to guess that it's going to take a 10 horsepower air compressor to deliver that work. So when you talk about a reciprocating air compressor, anywhere from 2 horsepower to 20 horsepower, typically you're in an application that fluctuates quite a bit. You could be in an auto repair shop, you could be at a cement plant, you could be um, anywhere where you're using hand tools that you use for a certain period of time but then they'd be off for a long period of time. A rotary screw is going to be something similar to what I have here. This is a 15 horsepower compressor that's going to be more of a constant demand. So it could be a cabinet shop where you're using a lot of sanders. Um, it could be an auto body shop where you've got grinders going, sanders, or any other application that's using packaging equipment, things that takes a lot of air for a good amount of time. 